What's up boys and girls, it is Ruthless here and today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial on how to set up a waypoint activation. So that basically means whenever you step into the waypoint, a friendly squad will join into your crew and then as soon as that happens, a enemy squad will be coming to ambush you. So practically, uh, you'll be activating a squad to join you and another squad over on this side of the map is going to be converging onto your position as soon as that trigger is activated. I'm also going to be showing it in a different way to where um, it's all through the join squad waypoint. So as soon as the join squad waypoint is activated uh, from the guy joining your squad, it'll also do the same effect um, as long as you have it set up properly to where it'll activate a uh, squad to come attack you as well. So we'll, we're going to do it both ways here. So I'm going to place down my trusty deck crew. Uh, he gets me through my shit. So we're going to place him down. Then we're gonna come right here and we're gonna place a trigger down. Uh, I'm gonna try and get through this as fast as possible. So just try and follow along. If you have questions, uh, leave it below. I'll, I'll try and answer what I can. So right here, we're gonna name our character Ruthless. So you can name it whatever you want. It's just gonna be Ruthless because that's, that's who I am. That's my character uh, in game. So the variable name of this, we're gonna call it Squad. Uh, the reason we're calling the trigger for this squad is because um, this trigger is going to get activated and we're going to need, as soon as this one gets activated, we're going to have to call it an on activation on another trigger to, like, to go off. You'll, you'll see what I mean in a second here. So we're going to go in and get our group placed down. It's going to be a friendly fire team. It's going to be right here. And we're going to call this squad one. So this group's going to be called Squad 1. My uh, squad is Ruthless. Now on the uh, the on activation for this um, trigger, uh, we're going to be putting the squad that's going to be joining us. So we're going to put Units Squad 1. So that's what we just named that squad. And then we're going to put Join uh, Silent. And then we're going to put Ruthless. Actually, we don't have that capitalized. Ruthless. Then we're going to put our semicolon. And this right here, as soon as it activates, the units will join our squad. There also is another way. Um, if you take away units and you just put brackets around this, it'll just put, it'll make uh, where only one player joins. And that's how you just make the, um... like per se, if we were to take this guy and name him squad one right here and we did that it would just make it to where only one uh person joins your squad and then everything else after this will follow into that as well so it's like it makes it easy uh if that that makes sense so now we're gonna come place our enemy csat squad over here we're just gonna put a sentry squad in sentry team don't really it doesn't really matter which way they're facing <laughs> Now we're going to grab our social ass hide module. So you just want to type in show and it'll come up with it. We're going to put two of these down. One's going to hide the units and one is going to show them. So you want to sync to the squad leader. And we're going to sync this one to the squad leader. Only one of these will be synced to a trigger though. So we're going to come, we're going to grab a trigger and we're going to place it down here. And this trigger will go off. Um, so we're going to put in the condition trigger uh, activated. And then we're going to put squad because that's what we named the trigger. So trigger activated squad. And we're going to put a timer where it's five seconds for it to bring the enemies. So we're going to sync it to the one that shows them. So you want to make sure it's synced. I don't know why I did that. You want to make sure it's synced to the uh, the show slash hide module that shows the units and that'll make them come. And then we're going to also place a waypoint to uh, come over here. So we're going to make them go full speed and move. So that way they, they rush this, uh, this point. Um, so if we go into game right now, uh, they will rush us, but we got to set up this actually real quick. So now I'm going to place a waypoint down for this guy. And this is where the waypoint part comes in. So on this waypoint, 
the on activation, you're just going to want to put uh, WP equals one semicolon. And then in the trigger condition here, you're going to put waypoint. Waypoint one equals equals one. All right. So then now that all that's done, you get all this, you see it all. We're going to come in. So I'm going to show you guys this like in both ways. Um, and I'll, it'll be very simple. So now if I move into this waypoint, they should join. You know what? Actually, now that I think about it, I did forget that one. One part. That's what's missing. All right, here we go. Edit that out there. All right. So now that we come back in and we move into the waypoint, they will join us. As soon as they join us, I'm gonna go ahead and just move tell them left. to move that way to take out that enemy squad that's gonna be coming in. There it is. Now, infantry and AI, are, they're not the, their infantry and armor are not the best. All right, so now that they're dead, um, I can actually just prove to you guys that they're not supposed to be there yet. So I'll I'll run by instead of activating the waypoint. I'll just run by. It's not activated, and they are not uh, they're not here. And then if I run back and activate them, they'll spawn in within five seconds. So that's just that's how that works. You can probably watch them spawn in. There they are. All right, so that's how that works. Um, you can just get a squad to come ambush you just with that simple setup. So now if I don't activate this waypoint, actually, let, let's just say, okay, here, I'll go to, I'll, I'll go to do this for you. So now we have an engineer that we want to place down here and we're going to shift right click on our guy here with him selected, shift right click. And we're going to tell him to join the squad. So now that he's going to join, we're going to do the same process here. And we're going to do on activation uh, waypoint two this time because we already have one waypoint. So this is just how you set up the secondary uh, thing exactly like this. Then we're going to put down a trigger. We're going to put in the condition waypoint two equals equals one. And we're gonna put down a show slash hide as well. And we're going to put a civilian beggar. So this can act as the uh, enemies that are gonna come attack you. So we're gonna sync this to here. And we're gonna just copy and paste this module. We're gonna paste it in. We're gonna also sync this one. Now we're gonna have this one show units and we will put that on to here. So now as soon as this guy runs into me and joins my squad, it'll spawn in the uh, civilian. Two, join group. And now the civilian spawned in. So that's just, that's how quick it is to get um, Units to come. You can put a delay on the trigger as well, so the squad doesn't have to come immediately. You can set up different waypoints for where you want the squad to go once it spawns in. But that's just how simple it is. Uh, that's all that I got for this tutorial, and I hope that it helped. If you have any questions, leave them in the description, or the, the comment section, not the description uh, below. And if I can't help you there, I may just ask you to join the Discord, and we can go further on, the, on there. But... Other than that, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Leave your suggestions below on uh, more tutorials, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.